Uh, well, that's not good. Oh, boy. Okay, got that stuck in there, and now that's stuck in the truck. Okay, that is why our insurance rates are so high. Right there. Gone in gamers here, back for another video of Snowplowing Simulator Prologue. Now, last time we ended, well, falling into sort of a glitch that we found. And I was kind of a goof because I didn't realize how to save the game, or I didn't actually save the game. I have went ahead and uh, restarted the uh, game, uh, kind of blew through it because I knew exactly what I had to do. Uh, but this board over here, like the one thing I didn't look into is where you go and you click to save the game. And it's just that easy, you just click it and save the game. The gates are open, that's good. We're at the point of where we pretty much left off. Uh, minus the fact that we're sitting in the shop instead of in a hole in the ground. So I'm gonna jump into this extremely annoying truck. Oh my god. I cannot get over that sound, but it is what it is. And we're gonna just... I probably could have ran over there on foot and it would have been just about as fast. We're gonna head over and get that beautiful John Deere that... I'm pretty sure it's a nice John Deere. It's a green tractor. Uh, let's not go back in there. That's where I fell through. I mean, now at least I have the game saved. I guess I'll park here. Maybe we're going to get the plow or something on the truck. I don't know. I've been hearing a little bit of complaints online that uh, supposedly there is no plow in the uh, prologue for the truck. So I'm not uh, keeping my hopes up. What is this? Okay, Mr. and uh, Miss Smith, uh, snow, snow thoroughly. There we go with the snowing again. We got a shovel. Okay, and here's the pop-up on the tractor. So it says you can drive the tractor clear the snow almost anywhere, but God, what, what is this? All right, so she's not a nice big John Deere. It's not even really a big tractor. It's more or less a little, I don't know, a lawn tractor. I mean, I did have one of these in real life one time for my very small driveway. Uh, but actually a snowblower would have worked pretty good. Let's hit Q and see. Okay, so we got to plow out. In fact, I'm going to jump off of there and just have a look back here. All right, so we, we got to do a little bit of stuff back here. I guess uh, we'll jump back on the tractor and uh, oh my God, look at all these rocks. Those rocks are, they, they look like they're like rocks. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna work out. Yeah, you just go ahead and see. It says you gotta hit R to put the plow up and down. The sounds are not nearly as bad on, okay, on the tractor. The, it's kind of got that weird, like the truck sounds like there's some the mechanic left a, a wrench in the turbo or something. Uh, and I'm kind of hearing that sound again. What, what is that? And it's oh, well, that's really weird. It's only when the, the 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 blade is down. I don't know. Thank God though that we have. Oh, okay. All right, and that automatically raises up. But yeah, it's very nice that we have this this tool now at least. Oh no. I'm almost wondering if it's going to be faster to kind of do like the middle area and then maybe grab the uh, Scoopy-Doo, our uh, scoop shovel, and, and maybe do like the very outside, which is probably a little bit more controllable. Oh, wow. This is not, this is not going so well. see if uh well you know that's not too bad i got my little outfit on i was hoping to do this in the last video but uh you know a little glitch there kind of ended that fun for us but at least we're uh we're, we're set up we're ready to go i actually blew through that uh doing it the second time there and i think the whole thing felt like 10 or 15 minutes it was really quick because i did like the bare minimum in, in this, uh, I'm gonna call it a demo, but prologue, whatever, first look, whatever they want to call it, early access. Uh, 
it doesn't seem like there's much repercussions for doing a uh, kind of a half-assed job. Um, not, not that I can tell. Uh, I could be wrong on that. Yeah, this is uh, doing an okay job, I guess, so far. Man, it's brutal when you hit those rocks, though. It's just kind of, I mean, kind of realistic, especially if they're frozen into the ground. Yeah, I can't, you can't see anything. I mean, it's kind of be nice if the, the blade actually, you know, was on, like on a spring, if it would just kind of trip and bounce and go over. Just about finished kind of walking along the edge. Wasn't too bad. Just doing the one pass with the, uh, the scoop shovel here. Kind of cleaning that up. You always gotta kind of find yourself going off to like the edge though before you release because otherwise you'll have a pile. But, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, there's a couple spots, but come on, that's gonna be realistic. Anyway, I need to get back to the shop. Kind of need a little bit of that syrup here. I haven't had any yet today. Oh, I do have to do this too. I think this is going to get hung up. Yeah, there's no, there's no, there's no way. Ah, uh, okay. Can't, can't fit it through there. Let's try to, uh, we'll just go barreling over the yard. I see rocks here. Well, it's, uh, well, that's not good. Oh boy. Okay, uh, got that stuck in there, and now that's stuck in the truck. Okay. That is why our insurance rates are so high. Right there. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> that's uh, it's quite a sight. Quite a sight to behold as you come down the road. Um, yeah, hopefully, uh, I think we'll be okay if we call the... Uh, emergency roadside assistance the AAA or something whatever that is there uh we'll, we'll get that figured out but uh i think i'm gonna just grab the scoop shovel and kind of filled up a little bit quick here yeah he had a big pile like what a mess all right i think that's a wonderful job i mean mr and mrs smith they'll figure out a way over that pile Okay, I snowed 91%. It says it took me 12 and a half minutes. It feels a little longer than that, but I did kind of whiz through it. I didn't do so well there. Earned $150. I don't actually know how much money I potentially missed out on, but I think I did a better job than that, but I did have a little bit of a pile. It says we just earned the scraper on wheels. Uh, is that theirs or do I get to keep that? Let's get the truck back to the shop. Man, this thing is so useless and annoying anyway. Oh my god. And it's not uh, not very maneuverable. Now earlier I took this out for a little drive and uh, there's no not really anywhere in the map you can go. Like they it's most of it's pretty blocked off. There's like some houses. That is the absolutely worst sounding vehicle in any game I have ever heard. Oh, syrup. Have a couple of these, you know, kind of make us uh, feel a little bit better here about the life that we're living in. A couple of aspirins, always good. I think I do have some some food here. We should probably eat a ooh, hamburger. Eh, maybe I'll drink up that energy drink. Uh, it said that we were going to get 
this unlock three hundred dollars good lord i'm gonna do it uh that's why i haven't been trying to buy too much syrup as far as like clothes yeah i can get some better clothes but they're all too expensive so i'm not gonna worry about it and you cannot uh get these like i said people online have been complaining that oh my god what it i'll never get used to that i hate that damn bump the thing beeping all the time all right there's the uh Number three. Oh, that's that's nice. Okay. I mean, it's kind of along the same lines as what we already had. Snow removal with no order. On roads and areas with no order, you can only use a basic shovel and basic vehicle plows. You won't earn anything from it and no one will judge your work, but sometimes you can find an interesting find. Also, remember that areas cleared of snow will quickly fill up with snow again. <laughs> Wow, so okay, you yeah you cannot use that you cannot use that, but you can use this. Yeah, there is no way on this earth that you could ever find me shoveling this. But now, if we did have the truck plow, of course, you know, what is this? It's a glitch. Probably a hole. I'm gonna fall through. Yeah, it's just if we had the truck plow, I mean, maybe a different story. I'll see if anything changed over here. Nope, everything still looks like the way we left it. Just dickered. Okay, well, that's not so bad. We uh, fell down as soon as we got in it. Let's try to hit uh, R. Okay, so you can use this on the road. Well, there you go. You could drive the whole map. Well, I'm not going over there. Drive back to the shop. Maybe we'll find like $10,000 and everything will be awesome. So you could go about plowing this whole road, but uh, I'm just not feeling incentivized to do that. I, I don't know. Maybe in front of our own shop. Yeah, maybe I'll get my kids to do it. That'll, that's what I'll do. Hey kids, this is gonna be a lot of fun. That's not gonna, not gonna last. And it looks like our next job is gonna be at the Roscoe O'Keefe. We're gonna be uh, going just up the road. Unfortunately, I just drove this thing back here. I was right next to where I needed to be. Apparently the word is really getting out about our excellent uh, snow removal here. I've been driving all the way since the shop and uh, as you can see, the little dewey that tells me what's, how full I am is not really filling up. I think it's parting out the sides there, but we'll jump off. And uh, nothing important was found, so we'll go up to here. What, what is this? Oh, okay, so uh, apparently we we're already good to go. Clearing the snow from the property, uh, pay special attention to the snow behind the house. Oh, are we gonna find something back here? Now I'm really incentivized here. Oh, dang. Well, if we can get the tractor back here, that's not gonna be too bad. Wonder what uh, things we'll find. We didn't find crap at the other place. Well, this is crazy. Oh, brother. Can we open this? Oh, good, good, good. Okay, so we gotta do the driveway. Uh, all right, well, we're gonna make short work out of this. Yeah, I'm trying not to go too far over here, but it looks like it's like that's pretty good to go. Looks like the last snowplow dick went and hit, the, uh, hit, hit their fence. That's probably why I'm hired now. Haha, <laughs> they don't even know. Oh well. Townspeople think I'm a great guy, that's all that matters.
Okay, that's definitely not pretty, but uh, I think it'll get the job done. I just forgot where the mailbox is. Oh, it's over there. It says I snowed 86% in 10 and a half minutes. I mean, maybe it was. Yeah, I don't, that's not gonna do so. That, wow, we did terrible on that one, but I got paid $200, but I, there was nothing found. And I, I did a pretty good job in the back. I'm just not seeing like any other incentive to full send on getting uh, everything cleaned up like to a hundred. I mean, I think if this was the actual game, you know, the full full version, I would probably be working a lot harder on the uh, reputation, but um, I, I just really have this uh, feeling that it doesn't matter a whole lot right now because there's only going to be a set number of jobs and that's going to be that. It looks like Dr. Galuski over here at the end of the road is the next one uh, but I'm gonna go in more importantly and uh, save the game right here is where you do that again okay we're at the next place and uh, ooh, whoop I didn't mean to uh, click off of that well that was awfully fast we got quite a job here I was trying to hold Q and look at what we got to do well, this is uh, honestly that won't be too bad if I can get that little plow back here, I think that'll be all right. And then uh, we'll clean up the edges with the shovel. This actually, to me, looks better than uh, the other place. Oh, and then you got all this. All right, well, uh, look at this. Oh my gosh. A lot, of, a lot of hand work here. I don't think the tractor is going to be quite as useful, but we'll uh, do what we can here. What the heck? I hope I don't die. What happened? Okay, uh, we got pop-ups going on here, and I don't really know what... I don't know what is going on. I can't... I cannot swim. Wait, what? What the hell is going on? I cannot swim. Wait, who is what the... Somebody drowning out here? Well, who can't swim? Oh, I'm so confused. What is happening right now? 
It is getting daylight out. I I don't see anybody drowned. Who can't swim? Okay, I'm I'm gonna run over to Oh, maybe I can't swim? <laughs> Why was I out there? There's another hole to fall in. Oh, I'm really freaked out. I don't know what happened. I get off the tractor and I'm flying through the air and all I wanted to do is finish my shoveling and then I thought somebody was drowning and it keeps saying, I can't swim. Like, is this a rescue mission? But uh, I think this is going to be a 95% job. I mean, you can see a few little... Uh, yeah, see, that's what I don't like about, about these big ones. All right. Jump back on the tractor, nothing crazy happened. Uh, you can see there is very little blue showing anywhere. So we did, I would say, a very good job here. And if it says anything less than 95, I call BS. Uh, there's a couple little specks out here. Yeah, maybe, okay, so I'll drive out and uh, touch that one spot up with the shovel. I'm scared to like drive anywhere or park anywhere or do anything. I'm gonna get this one out here. Seems to make a little less mess when you do bang in this stuff. We'll get a couple of hits there. I, th I think that's pretty good. I mean, they gotta give us some grace here. Oh, okay, 98%. I mean, that's that's pretty damn good if you ask me. I don't know if it took that long, but okay, five star, $300. Uh, that was a bigger job in each job. I think you get paid more uh, Sensational work. Don't forget to talk to the owner and check what he's talking about. Okay. Uh, oh He okay uh, He sent us the oh god. That's the hell is guy creeping me out here a little bit. How you doing? Great job fast and solid I've recommended you to several friends by the way Please tell me whether you had any problems while working especially in part of the lot close to the stream uh, Yeah yeah, in fact, something wasn't right. I went flying. In fact, I didn't feel very confident there. Oh, uh, okay. I am a doctor, and I keep my feet firmly on the ground, but among the locals, there's a legend about a ghost of a drowned girl who haunts the stream. Are you kidding me? I, that's what I'm saying. His feet firmly on the ground or something? Like, I went flying. There's an old swing by the stream. I saw it, yeah. Uh, from which a young girl supposedly fell into the stream. Oh, my God. That is so freaky, and uh, her spirit has been haunting the area ever since. What? Have you seen anything? Have you uh, seen something there? Well, I haven't seen it, but I often hear strange noises. I prefer not to go there, especially after sunset. Interesting story. All right, I'm going back to work. Well, that is freaking. That makes the hair stand up on your neck, doesn't it? Was that the ghost that I heard? It was like screaming. But it said after sunset, you're supposed to go back here, I guess. While I wait, I've noticed another question mark on the map. Maybe it was something we were supposed to find. Uh, it looks like I'm back down at the stream again. I cannot swim. I think that's like me. It's telling me I don't want to go into the stream. But there's literally a question mark on the map back here uh what is this oh wow yeah that's where we were uh we were at before there's like some footprints here maybe that's what they were saying about pay attention in the back of the house because this is all busted up and uh it looks like somebody ran through here but then I got my footprints in here as well. I don't know, the mysteries are uh, continued. Oh great, and now I'm stuck. Okay, I got out. I'm, I'm panicking because I haven't saved it, and I really don't want to go do that job again, but uh, it, it does look like... I might be stuck down here. This, uh, this thing, this game is really crazy when it comes to falling through everything. Yep, well, that just happened again, and, uh, here we are looking underneath the map. I cannot get back up there. I am about to rage quit.
All right, well, I did have to do that entire job over again. This time I blew through it in 10 minutes because I you know, knew exactly what I had to do and I got 100%, still got 300 bucks for it. So I'm back at this house and uh, oh, I can already see something glowing down there. I, I couldn't see this during the daytime. Oh, where is it? Where is it? But ironically, oh, you found the first artifact. You'll, it'll definitely be useful someday. Oh, okay. Hit okay. I was gonna go digging for it, but I guess I don't have to do that. Now it's saying founds and artifacts. All the finds and artifacts will be, which will be important for solving the mystery will be placed later in the hub. Okay. Yeah, for some reason in the daytime, I, I couldn't see that glowing, but it's quite obvious. So that's what they're talking about at that job when they say, you know, pay attention in the back of that house. Yeah, it kind of sucks. I fell through the, uh, the map and I could not get myself back up again. And of course I hadn't saved. So, learned another lesson, but not a big deal. We're back here again. Uh, I did talk to that guy afterwards again. He told me to go back to the swing. I don't know. I'm a little bit not liking this. The ghost of this girl back here. It's a little freaky. I feel like I'm going to get a jump scare here or something. Some little girl standing there on a swing or sitting on a swing. I don't know. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a Yeti. Oh, Jesus, look at that. Holy frick, get me out of here. I don't do well with Bigfoot. I think you guys know that from uh, the old Bigfoot game. Oh, look at that. Where's he going? Oh, that was the end of the prologue. Holy. Give you a jump scare at the end. Okay, you have already completed all the tasks available. That's it, huh? Gosh, well... At least we know we can we can put this one to sleep because man, I'll tell you what, I gotta get the heck out of here. That is nerve-wracking knowing that there's a Yeti roaming around out here. But of course, you know, you can't have a snow game without a Yeti in it. Um, I don't know, my final take on this game is kind of a mixed bag. I mean, I love a nice snow plowing game. Uh, this game has potential as well, it's just gotta get some polish. And, uh, well, you know, we can say it's in early access right now, or prologue, as they like to all call it. So we're going to go ahead and pack this thing up here. I don't know. We'll hit a save and uh, call this one complete, I guess. Uh, I don't know what's going to become of this game. I guess it's going to be releasing in a couple weeks. We'll have to stay tuned. And uh, if you guys want to see more of this game, let us know. I'm going to... I'm gonna close everything up out here. Now that I know there's a Yeti roaming about, I'm, uh, no, mm -mm. I'm, I'm actually gonna have barbed wire uh, getting put up on top of that on Monday. Uh, yeah, we're locking that thing. Oh, I can't even, can't even look behind me here. But yeah, it's, uh, it's quite the, quite the game. And uh, there's the save on it. So check it out when she hits steam here after the prologue right now. There's really not a lot you can do in prologue. you just seen the whole, whole nine yards. Uh, so, well, folks, let me know down in the comments section what you think of this one. We're going to be streaming all throughout the week over on twitch.tv slash gunninggamers. And also, you'll catch us here on YouTube. So make sure you hit the like button on this video. It helps us out a whole bunch. And let me know what kind of games you'd like to see here on the channel again. Until next time, take care.